Hi, how are you doing? My name is Scott Marsh. I am the uh, head football coach at Ron Colley High School on the south side of Indianapolis and uh, um, nine-time state champion. We are a uh, private Catholic school of about a thousand students, a little over a thousand students, um, and a great tradition of, of, of excellence at our school, and, and, and I'm really humbled and proud to be the head coach at, at Ron Colley High School. And, and uh, second opportunity to, to speak with, uh, with Chief, Chief Pigskin, second year in a row, and uh, so this year we, we've, we've got a long history of playing great defense at Ron Colley and, and we are a 3-3 stack defense as a base structure and, and we are a quarters team. Um, and I did a, a lot on that last year and this year I want to go into some, uh, a little bit more specific aspects of, of some of what I think are some of the neater coverage uh, concepts that we use. Um, you know, as I mentioned, we're a, we're a cover four base install team. Um, we're not a spot drop team. We, we, we believe in, in matching routes and matching tight. And um, we kind of, we, we tend to um, organize our coverages really into, into three structures. We've got our pure man uh, structures, we've got uh, zone match structures, and then man match structures of, of how we uh, install coverage. So I'm going to get a little bit of all three of those today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about today is, is our, uh, one of our more flexible and useful coverages that we use, which is what we call one rat and one robber. Uh, they're really simultaneous terms for our kids, uh, just depending on how we're going to use uh, that low hole player. Okay, so this is going to be a, a coverage that's going to have a high hole post safety along with a low hole <coughs> player in there as well. Uh, the reason why I say it's one of our more flexible coverages is uh, this is the coverage we install. It's not the coverage we install first, but we put it in early in the summer uh, because it gives us a lot of useful concepts that we build on throughout the season when we're game planning for specific receivers. Uh, so here, uh, after I get into kind of the base concepts of how we orchestrate our one rat and one robber, uh, I'm going to get into some of the neater things we do in terms of uh, variations of doubling, you know, certain players or you know, star receivers or isolation X receivers or, or, or whatever we want to do. We've got a plan for all that once we get this coverage in in the summer. One of the first things we do when we install our, our post safety coverages is we, we make sure that the kids all see this chart. Uh, and it's really kind of more of a cover three chart. We don't play a whole lot of cover three, but we want them all to understand uh, the way the field is broken down geometry in terms of how we're going to cover, cover when we have post safeties involved in, in our defense. Um, we really want kids to understand where that seam is on the field and, and how we want to protect the seam. I think it's very, very important anytime you put in post safety concepts that you have to know where your, um, you know, where the spots are that they're going to be problematic to cover and how you want to get those covered. So we make sure that the kids understand this and, you know, that, uh, that the seams, if the ball's in the middle of the field, the seams for us are going to be 14 to 17 yards uh, from the sidelines, which in the high school field, if the ball's in the middle of the field, is going to put that seam right at the hash to about three yards outside the hash. Okay, so our seam defenders, even in our man-free concepts, are going to take their alignment relative to where their man is to the seam, okay? So if I'm covering the number two receiver in the slot and that number two receiver is outside the seam, I'm going to line up with inside leverage. If that number two receiver is inside the seam, I'm going to line up with outside leverage. And I think that's really important uh, in terms of being able to get a, a, a mental jump on routes before the ball's ever snapped. And those seams for us are going to run eight to 25 yards deep and that's going to be our problem area. And we really have to to uh, protect those areas. Obviously, as the ball moves from the middle of the field, we're going to adjust those seams a little bit. You know, so if the ball were on, say, the right hash here, that seam would now be maybe from the, uh, from the hash to three yards inside or something along those lines. So we'll adjust that a little bit. But we want every kid to understand where those seams are and how we're going to get those seams uh, defended whenever we're in post-safety concepts. In our terminology, uh, one rat for us means that we're going to be in man-free coverage and our underneath hole dropper, okay, our high hole player, our post player is going to be a safety. Our low hole player is going to be, in our terminology, and if it's rat, is going to be a linebacker. So when I'm saying, hey, here's one rat, that means we're going to have uh, one of our linebackers as the low hole player. The other linebacker is going to have the back in man-to-man -man coverage. If we say one robber in our terminology, that means that uh, the linebacker, one linebacker will have the back, one linebacker will be in coverage, and then we're going to drop a safety down into that low hole spot and still play the post with the other safety. So it's basically two versions of the same coverage. It just depends on where we're going to bring that whole player from. 
Uh, and the reason why we do it in different ways, it just allows us to be able to uh, personnel some things, get in sub packages. We might get in some nickel and dime looks and bring in extra defensive backs. Um, and, and, and it just gives us the flexibility of being able to, to have that low hole player be really anybody that we want it to be based on a couple simple, simple terms. And I think that's important.